course, the big news I woke up to this morning. Chris Jericho, speaking of the forbidden door being kicked open, Chris Jericho is set to make his first appearance on WWE produced programming since 2018. WWE announced today that Jericho will be the next guest on Steve Austin's Broken Skull Sessions. Episode will premiere on Peacock in the U.S. and the WWE Network everywhere else on Sunday. That's this coming Sunday, everybody. If you, if you, you know, there's a lot of stuff on the network. WrestleMania week. If you want more, well, there's definitely more now. WWE Network's Twitter had teased the announcement yesterday by posting a 24-hour Austin-themed countdown clock with audio from the countdown clock that was featured in Jericho's entrance music. In an interview with Sports Illustrated, Austin said the idea of having Jericho on Broken Skull Sessions came after Jericho texted him following a previous episode with The Undertaker. He said, I was having a beer one night after my Broken Skull Sessions interview with The Undertaker aired. Out of the blue, Chris Jericho reached out and said, man, this would be a great interview. I sent him a couple of those emojis, one of a beer mug, the other of an eagle, and he called me right then and there. We got to talking. I've always respected, yeah, the winged eagle, of course. I've always, uh, we got, I've respected the Sorry. hell out of his career. I'm glad they're around. It gives the guys and girls in professional wrestling more places to work. This is about AEW, he's saying. I said, I'd love to have you on the show, and he said he'd love to do it. So I checked with Vince about it. He said, I texted Vince, said we had this badass idea about Jericho coming on the show. I can imagine Vince getting that text. <laughs> and Vince responds, it's cool. Go ahead. But me and Vince don't always do well with phones and texts and all that. So I texted one more time. Are you sure it is okay to have Chris Jericho on the show? <laughs> Vince gave me the thumbs up. And Chris came out to do the show. I'm not sure Grandpa here heard you. Could you say it again? Sports Illustrated noted that Tony Khan also gave his approval for Jericho to appear on Broken Skull Sessions. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> well, bro, listen, if I if I were Steve Austin and I sent Vince a text and I said, hey, it's okay if Chris Jericho comes on, on Broken Skull Sessions and he like sent me some random emojis, I would double check. Excellent question, Shelton. So there you go. Chris Jericho. Oh, God. Now, of course, the interesting thing, I mean, I don't even know. I mean, there's nothing on here that says anything is restricted. So, I mean, it sounds to me like there's going to be promotion for AEW on WWE Network with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Hey, in a, in a way, what a everybody life. wins. What a world. Yeah, this is crazy. This is this is craziness going on now with, with, with Peacock. AEW gets to this is all a win for them no matter what happens just chris jericho appearing there even if he doesn't get the uh initials aew out all that often it doesn't really matter it's a win for them no matter what big plus nobody can say anything otherwise when it comes to to peacock and the stone cold steve austin show it's just going to mean more listens. It's just going to mean more hits. And that's all Peacock and that network and what they show on it. That's all they care about is how many views we get, how many clips can we put on YouTube and on Twitter, and how many retweets and all that sort of nonsense. Like, that's all this is about. So it's not like this is, you know, Tony Khan's going to appear on there. Chris Jericho's going to appear on there. They can spar back and forth over what's better or any of that sort of stuff, whatever. It's not going to be, I don't think think that revolutionary i don't think we're going to get a lot of new information or a bunch of hot quotes out of the deal i just think people a lot of people are going to get a lot of hits out of the deal because it's going to get a lot of attention i will say one thing though if i were steve austin and i asked vince if jericho could do the show and he said yes and then i double checked just to make sure and he said yes I would never mention it again. No, no. Do not, no. do not bring up. Do not text him tomorrow and go. Are you sure this? Is, yeah. No. Third do not time mention it till it's a, already aired. Yeah. Third time could be a strike out there. Don't, don't do that. You, you I mean, got grandpa well, my point is, agree. he may have, he may have forgotten. He said yes. You don't want well, to remind him now. Or talking Chris Masters? No, Chris Jericho, Vince. Who? Oh. That's yeah. AW Dynamite and TNT. <laughs> Seven hundred thousand viewers down seven point five percent from last week. Dynamite's second lowest viewership total since June of last year. NXT, 654, down 3.5% from last week. 18-49, to 49, Dynamite seventh on cable, down 13.3% in the 18-49 to 49 demo. 
NXT up 50% in 18 to 49, drawing a 0.21. They were 12th on cable. That is the highest they have finished since the debut of Dynamite. That was over a year ago. 1.354 million combined, which is bad. Lowest since February 10th, down 5.6% from last week. And that's it. Demos, uh, closer than usual. NXT won women 18 to 49. In men 18 to 49, Dynamite won big, 0.38. Uh, Dynamite's strongest category. NXT won in 18 to 34 with a 0.13. Dynamite won with females 18 to 34. NXT won with males 18 to 34. Dynamite won with people 25 to 54. NXT won with people over 50. So, uh, I have no explanation for this. Those numbers are bad. So, as I mentioned yesterday in the Brian and Vinny show, I believe I've talked to Tony Khan one time in my life about a bad number. I think it was on, uh, might have been on the Jericho Cruise. But there was a show that did not do well. And uh, his conclusion was, bad lineup. People didn't care. And as, as we talked about yesterday, when when uh, Dynamite was over, I was flooded with all of these, these emails and text messages. People just loved this Dynamite show. Oh, this show is great. Oh, I loved it. One guy goes, best Dynamite I ever saw. Which I would not agree with, but... A lot of people liked it, and then when the numbers came out, all these people were going, I can't believe it. The show was so great. Well, you know that now, but going in, what did you think of the lineup going in? Well, honestly, if you look at the lineup going in, uh, they promoted uh, the Big Six Man. They promoted Arcade Anarchy, which, I mean, all we knew was that there would be you know, video games involved. I didn't know it was going to be like a wild street fight with multiple returns. We knew that MJF was going to give a gift. We we didn't know that the inner circle was going to return. Like, if you tell someone afterwards, this is what happened on Dynamite, well, they'd probably go, man, I want to see that show. But if you look at the lineup going in, not exactly as exciting as when you know what already happened. So I think that what it probably was, people weren't all that excited about the lineup going in. 700,000 viewers. And as far as why NXT was up so big, well, I don't know. I mean, the, I guess maybe that one was just the go-home show, uh, the, which was not the go-home show, but the, the show the week prior was very, very good. And it was it was so much like a go-home show, I don't know, maybe people tune in thinking this was going to be TakeOver. But anyway, it did very well, so... And I do expect, if I had to make a prediction, I expect that NXT is winning in total viewers next week for their final Wednesday night head-to-head show. I would be stunned if NXT somehow did not win next week. But we'll see. Hey, NXT was still down nearly 25,000 people, though. So, you know, it's it, so the number, yeah, it was stable and looked better compared to what Dynamite was because that was down. But still, they were down as well, too. And a combined 1.35 million viewers is not good. You know, the last bad number like that was around the time the insurrection happened and you know there was a reason for that with this as we're going into wrestlemania it doesn't feel very good you know i was gonna take calls but i changed my mind because we've got a lot of feedback via text message and email the last couple of days i didn't read any of them so i'm gonna do that but what i would like maybe you can send me a message of some sort bloke here says brian better be prepared to be stunned so this guy thinks the Dynamite is beating the first night of NXT TakeOver WrestleMania week. I want to know why you think that. Back in a moment with more Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure 4 Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.